it's going to be well over 100 degrees here today, so I'm going to skip the trip to Pick and Pole and share with you an interesting project car that I found online. So this is a 1973 Porsche, that's right, Porsche, not Porsche, but Porsche 914. Uh, it's a 2.0 liter version, uh, and as you can see from the pictures, it could definitely use some work. If you're not familiar with the 914, they were developed in collaboration with Volkswagen. Uh, Porsche had phased out its entry-level 912 after the 1969 model year and needed a replacement, uh, which is the 914. By 1976, uh, the 914 was replaced by the 912E, which was a one-year uh, only uh, vehicle. And then by 1977, it was replaced by the front engine 924. Uh, originally, I think this 1973 um, 914 should have come with a 1.7 liter engine, uh, but this one is a, is a 2.0 liter um, air-cooled Type 4, uh, which is a four-cylinder boxer engine. Uh, sometimes it's called a, a flat four or a uh, horizontally opposed um, four-cylinder engine. Uh, the, the ad does state that it's non-numbers matching, so at some point there's a replacement engine. The engine should also be uh, fuel injected, but um, some people convert them to carburetors, uh, and actually a carbureted version would be uh, my preference. Uh, there aren't any pictures of the engine or the engine bay, so don't know if it's it's if if it has its original fuel injection or if it's been converted to uh, carburetors. Uh, but from the pictures, the the body looks fairly straight. Owner claims that there's uh, very little rust. Uh, not not sure what that means. Um, and the original color is red, um, which in Porsche speak would be guards red. Uh, the most common areas of rust on the 914 is right under the battery tray, uh, which is located in the engine bay. Uh, so it's a shame that there are no pictures of, of the engine bay or, or, or engine. Also the rocker panels and suspension mounts are very common areas for rust. So if you're interested, you definitely want to go check those areas. Um, in addition to paint and bodywork, um, as you can see, the interior needs a lot of work. Uh, the ad says that all of the interior trim is there, uh, but what I can see from the pictures is that there's definitely an aftermarket steering wheel. Looks like it's possibly a Momo, uh, and there's no radio, so I doubt the original radio is around. Um, so at $6,000, it's not exactly a steal, uh, but a concourse condition uh, could bring just under $100,000. Uh, and if we look at the recent sales on Bring a Trailer, it seems like the range is uh, between $15,000 and, and $25,000 for, for the most recent sales. Um, the value of all Porsches, including the 914, really jumped about five years ago. Um, and, and lately, the sales prices have, has, uh, have leveled off. Um, but given the way the economy is going, Maybe you can pick up a bargain price. Um, maybe this one's negotiable on, on their price. Um, get this as a project, work on it for a few years, and there's potential for, I think, for another jump uh, in Porsches. Um, I've ridden in a, in, a, in a couple of these, um, and if they're fitted with anti-sway bars, uh, they corner very flat. Uh, and because you sit so low, you actually feel like you're going a lot faster than, than you really are. So it's, it's kind of that definitely go-kart feeling. They're fairly simple cars to work on. Uh, most things are easily accessible and, and part availability, uh, parts availability is, is pretty good. Uh, so I'd say that even uh, YouTube certified mechanics uh, shouldn't have any problems working on this. I'll include links to uh, some more information as well as this, this ad below. Uh, and um, hopefully you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about Porsche 912s. And um, just remember to keep the rusty side up and the leaky side down. Take care.